actually 11 years old, just turned 11 actually. My name is Santiago Duran. You can call me Santi if you want. Okay. Nice. Hey, dude, now we're gonna be rolling the ball. And when we get to that post, you're gonna go down the post and pass it and run back. The team is called Coyotes USA. I've been his coach for seven years, since they've been four or five years. I'm training very hard, with much discipline, teaching all the values of sport. Y bueno, claro está, con el apoyo de, de toda la familia, con resultados muy buenos, ¿no? Pues yo te decía un equipo que empezamos desde ceros y hoy son el número uno en el estado. ¿Ya? Entrenar, juegan, juegan con mucha pasión, se divierten y lo más importante, han hecho una, un gran lazo de amistad, ¿no? I mean, it's a big project. The whole purpose of this is to give back to the youth and just to show that Santa Fe and New Mexico overall has level to compete. We just want to get that exposure out so they won't have to leave like I did to find that level. That level will stay here and we'll continue to obviously go into bigger things outdoor, but futsal for now is a focus as a startup. There's such a huge need for soccer in the community and we see the youth growing, right, with soccer. And what I wanted to do is something that I didn't have, play professionally here in my own city, because I was able to play at Colorado State, but I didn't have that professional team to come home to. And also provides lots of role models for the youth within our Hispanic community. Having these kids grow up and see, you know, all these great players, you know, playing from high school to club to college and then coming back to Santa Fe, I feel like it just gives the youth a lot of inspiration that they can be professional soccer players one day. So regular soccer that we think about is outdoor soccer, right? So that's obviously outdoor, it's 11 v 11. Um, so it's outdoors, but now we're moving towards a concept called futsal. Futsal is inside, it's smaller numbers, it's 5v5 with two soccer goals and the ball is actually different. It's a smaller ball that's weighted so it doesn't bounce. So futsal is really played in Latin America. The kids start out playing futsal and then move to outdoors. That's why they're so good with the futsal and they're just real crafty with the ball with their foot. I was born and raised in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The capital is when I really made my shine. Um, uh, my senior year, we made it a state. Eastern came, they offered a full ride to four year university, so I left there. Uh, made all conference a couple years and then um, came back for a year, left right away to Denver. That's where it really started for me until now. That's the reason I left to Denver because there's no really that level here. David is like, hey, we got this pro team going on, so I really would like you to like kind of represent. It's your state. And I couldn't reject the offer. I really was like, yeah, I'm a, if it's Santa Fe, New Mexico, I'm willing to do it. I had to come back. Para ser un gran equipo que represente la ciudad a nivel nacional, pero no tenemos los las herramientas para hacerlo. Ni las herramientas, ni los lugares, ni el apoyo. Yo pienso que es muy importante que toda la comunidad se dé cuenta de que también el fútbol existe y de que hay muchísimos niños que participan en él y que les gusta y que quieren seguir creciendo con él. Not a lot of us here in Santa Fe have a big chance. So, like people like Jesus, trying to motivate them is like a great idea for others, and they get a chance and they get to show, uh, show what they know. And well, have fun of course, and that's it.